Even as little as a year ago, I could never have imagined I would be involved in starting a prayer ministry in church. God has had me on an amazing journey the past couple of years, which I believe started when I was visiting back home in Scotland in July 2019. I was feeling dissatisfied with my Christian walk and that I wanted more. After a health scare in 2016, I had grown a lot in my faith, but things seemed to have plateaued and I really wanted to ask God to do a work in me and use me for something, but I was afraid. The last time I had asked him to change me, I had gone through some pretty fiery trials, which although they definitely achieved the desired refining of my faith, had been very unpleasant to go through, and I was scared that asking him to work in me might cause the same results, so I held back. While I was actively pondering these things and feeling afraid, my daily devotional talked about how, if we knew what amazing plans God has for us and the abundant life that awaits on the other side of surrender, we would run to it with open arms. Obviously, God was talking to me, so fearfully I surrendered and asked him to use me and change me. Within the week, I was signed up as co-leader of a life group with my sister Susie, and it was absolutely God-ordained. Last October, I happened to notice in a local paper that Halloween events were being scheduled that were promoting Wicca and the paranormal, and having just studied spiritual warfare for the past year, I felt strongly that we needed to be praying about this as a church. So with the help of my life group, I organized several days of prayer focused on Halloween and election prayer, where people could sign up to pray. My friends and I had a powerful encounter with the presence of God when we prayed during this event, and other people reached out saying that they too had experienced God's presence during their prayer times. So I felt this needed to be a monthly event with different themes. My powerful experiences of praying with others sparked a passion to learn more about prayer, and I began studying the many aspects of prayer. During a personal prayer time, I felt led to hold an informal gathering to pray for revival, and that was again a powerful time of prayer and worship. God is so faithful to take our tiny steps of surrender and obedience to Him and turn them into something so much bigger than we imagined. The most surprising thing that I have learned about prayer is how much I enjoy it now. My prayer life used to be pretty feeble, even feeling like a chore at times as I plowed through long lists of prayer requests, but I now realize the amazing power in prayer and I try to let the Holy Spirit lead my prayers. I leave my time of prayer feeling energized, empowered and excited about seeing God working. At the end of the day, prayer, when coupled with the mighty word of God, is our only weapon against the spirits of darkness. Prayer is how we partner with God to release His power. Revival happens through prayer, healing happens through prayer, warfare, peace, protection, guidance, discernment, all through prayer.